I'm with Data Centre Dynamics 2015. I'm with Kevin Brown, Vice President of Data Centre Technology and Strategy at Schneider Electric. Kevin, with the launch of micro data centres, can you talk a little bit uh, about the sorts of applications that customers are going to utilise these uh, these solutions in? Well, we really see this as uh, you know, it's impossible to have a conversation now in the industry without talking about the Internet of Things, mm -hmm. right? So. Uh, you know, it's, it's certainly a part of this overall trend of edge computing and Internet of Things. As, uh, you know, there's certain applications that uh, uh, have always existed and had a lot of data. And I think of industrial process control as the example I like to use, where they've always existed. They've been on proprietary networks, but what's really changing is they're coming on to uh, IT networks now. And as a result now, that information is able to get connected into, you know, the cloud, whether it's a, a private cloud, a public cloud, or what have you. But those types of applications themselves need to run very close to the load. There's a, you know, it's going to be very, it's very much driven by what's the bandwidth consideration. Uh, you know, we're running into a, a new conversation of, you know, do I put my application in the cloud or do I keep it locally? It, you know, it really depends on is there a latency requirement for that application. Um, but maybe more importantly is going to be the bandwidth. So if we have, uh, depending on the amount of data that I'm doing, it might be cheaper to deploy physical infrastructure than it is to pay for the bandwidth back and forth. So we see certain applications like industrial process control where it's going to have to be very close to the load. Mm -hmm. We see other ones like content distribution networks where just because of the bandwidth considerations they want to put them out close to the load. And uh, you know, it's really, an, it's, it's going to be very application specific. So there's uh, industrial process control is one to see that's easy, that's definitely going to be close to the load. Content distribution is driving itself more out towards the edge. But we're very much in this conversation with customers about what is the cost trade-off of having the physical infrastructure close versus the bandwidth cost of putting it into uh, maybe somewhere more centrally? And uh, you know, it, it, it really is very dependent on those, those, those types of issues. Latency and bandwidth are going to be uh, the core drivers in, in these conversations as we go forward. I think the skill shortages in both the data center sector and the IT sector have been well charted. How do you think micro data center solutions start to answer some of that requirement? I think it's a very interesting question because I think the industry is uh, uh, moving towards where you're going to, have, going to have generic blocks of compute that are getting deployed. Um, and a lot of the cloud technologies, whether you're running a private cloud or a public cloud, it's really trying to get it to where you just have this generic hardware compute that I can deploy any application on. So if we do this right, it really should simplify what people need to do. And, and micro data centers are part of that story because what, you, know, you now have a block, you can design it once, uh, you can deploy these anywhere, they're very standardized, they hopefully will have standardized IT inside of them, and therefore that really does simplify because now, um, instead of having to know what my five different IT vendors are doing, and then I also need to understand the, the, the software and the physical infrastructure, you start viewing these just as one, one block of compute that can be deployed. So, yes. micro data centers I think are a great example of that. Uh, you know, we've, as you know, we've made big investment in prefab data centers, I think that's a trend towards that as well. Mm -hmm. We're really trying to get things to be standardized blocks of compute that are getting deployed, uh, which hopefully, if uh, done correctly, will uh, minimize and simplify the uh, training requirements because uh, everything's been pre-manufactured, done, and uh, you know, should make everything much more straightforward. Kevin, consolidation has been a, a major trend in the data center industry for a number of, of years now. Now, all of a sudden, uh, we see a proliferation, or we, we, we anticipate a proliferation of um, edge computing um, applications to start to answer this IoT thing that's going on. How are you going to, what's the answer to managing the complexity that inevitably arises as assets start to proliferate? Yeah, it's a great question, and, and uh, you know, I want to be clear, my, per, my perspective on this, you know, we always like to talk in the industry that you know, things are going in one direction or the other, mm. that's consolidating or dist distributing. You know, and at the end, what we think is happening is you're going to have both, right? So there's going to be a mix of things that you want locally and things that you want centrally. Now, what's interesting about this wave of edge computing data centers uh, out there is you're right, it does introduce complexity about how do I manage these? And the tools that are available now, and uh, you know, we've made a big investment, other players have as well, but the tools that are available now to manage these are much more sophisticated than what existed uh, you know, 10 years ago and certainly even five years ago. So the progress that's been made on the ability to control and uh, understand what's happening at the local area and the connection between the physical infrastructure and IT is much better than uh, what exists in the past. And, and we think it's really a key enabler to uh, allowing people to deploy these effectively. Secondly though is um, 
you know, as everything's coming on, uh, you're going to see, and certainly we're, we're looking at this closely, other people are, once everything comes onto the internet, there's going to be, uh, us, we'll have the ability to help customers with that as well. So it's not necessarily going to be, you have to have a tool that's deployed on site, there's going to be additional support that comes uh, if somebody wants it from vendors like us to help manage those devices as well. So with uh, the Internet of Things and everything getting connected, um, you know, the investments that the industry's made in uh, providing better software tools over the last five, 10 years is much better and it's going to continue to get improve as uh, you know, we can also provide that expertise to our customers directly. So uh, you know, it's quite exciting because I think it, it enables a lot of opportunities to be more uh, energy effective, uh, be more responsible for our use of energy, be uh, more effective with how we're deploying IT, because we can get the visibility to it that maybe we didn't have 10, 15 years ago. So it's quite exciting.